Hello everybody, Ministrum here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, we're continuing to work on the war, as we have been for several episodes now. We've pretty much got the loads of Auto Combine locked down. We've got the Jehetma Dominion locked down. We are working our way through the Mirovania Commerce Guild. We were able to break through the inhibitors here because we were able to occupy the planet in this system. And we are now rolling through the core of their territory. We are able to get our first major fleet engagement in the Sophian system, uh, knocking out a significant portion of the Mirovandia fleet. So that's good. And we are now pushing into the Confederacy of Panasu Prime. Starting to knock them down. Need to get them knocked out and locked down so they can't do anything and then uh, we'll just be a matter of grinding out the rest of our war score and uh then hopefully win this thing still working on the upgrades to the ehof though that should be almost done Yep, 49 days. Our new crystalline megabore is working on its next stage of construction, 512 days. That should resolve our rare crystals issues, but we are actually plus two on rare crystals now, so that shouldn't be a problem, or at least it is until we unpause it, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. So, yeah. Once one of those two is done, we're going to start to work on the Penrose Sphere over here. And we're going to see about a couple of other things. Yeah, we got the Behemoth, um, Behemoth Planet Craft that allows us to get attack moons. So that's one thing we're going to, we're going to want to build. I got another, um, like... Shipyard megastructure to build. I got, we got a lot of megastructures to get going. So, yeah. Just a lot of work to chew through. Alright, so let's go ahead and get back to it. Beginning attack run on enemy station. All right, let's just run through these results. Let's make sure. And well, that's from the major they fleet engagement. Nothing there we need to worry about. Nothing there we need to worry about. All right, fifth fleet. Let's proceed through those systems. The sixth fleet. Proceed through those systems. Hostile fleet presence. That is where I... Well, not exactly where I thought it would be, but... Well, it works. Hope we'll get some damage done here before they emergency warp out. Sonic 
scientific breakthrough achieved. Uh -uh. We'll look at that in a second. All right, what do we got? Engineering weapon or energy weapon damage plus five percent. Uh, what's the cheapest? Building cost. I guess we'll grab building cost. Hyper skill, stellar lifting. We can now build the star lifter. Elgate insights. We'll get around to those eventually, I think. Armor thrusters to uh, research, engineering research from researchers, research station output. You know, we'll grab that one. It'll knock out real fast. All right, there is the event horizon offset facility done. And I think what we're going to go ahead and do is start up the next stage of the pen or the first stage of the Penrose Sphere construction. All right, let's check these to make sure that we are not looking at any losses. Uh, two destroyers were lost from this fleet. All right, order those replacements. No other losses, all right? Ah. You head here. I believe you are heading there. That is a Miravandia fleet. Wouldn't have expected them to show up there, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, fourth Fleet. Well, I guess I'll probably have the Fourth Fleet do. Is just sit here and start bomb, you know, bombing a colony. All right, well, let's see what we can do with this thing. Anything new? Stellar remnants, giant stars, fledgling stars, dwarf stars. Uh, no, nothing really new there. Alright, well... Maybe we should work on colonizing another system, or another planet. Let's go to a research planet. Alright, so let's go colonize this one. It's arid. Kano... Actually, somebody that produces, there we go, some Bobby. Send them. All right, Zarklin's Pilgrims aren't really doing anything at the moment. I don't think there's anything really for them to do. Well, I guess they could fly over here and start bombing something. All right, 
Let's see. What are we going to take here? Um, well, the defensive war. I guess we'll go with the governing ethics attraction. Moj Huxkin made peace with the Kelbert Index. Oh, nothing I can... Well, nothing I can take advantage of at the moment, but... Who are the Kelbert... Oh yeah, these guys, the Kelbert Index. I'm not sure we'll be able to, you know, get them to willingly vassalize. We'll see. Looks like the Seventh Fleet isn't doing anything. All right, then. I want you to head back to this system and start bombing something. If you have nothing else to do. Ah, and there is an archaeological site event. The man drilling unit reported that it has reached the amplifier. The crew is preparing themselves to undertake the necessary steps to enter the object. All right. Enemy is targeting one of our stations. Speaking of, can I reverse engineer? No, not yet. All right, second fleet. Let's tell them to go there. Um, is that where I want them to go? Well, that's where they're going to go. All right, you can fly back here and start bombing. Eighth Fleet. Head to that system. All right, what about the ground troops? All right, so they're going to merge in. All right, and then you guys are gonna head to that system. Army health up. Go for naval capacity. Uh, let's see, Ripper Auto Cannons, Flak Artillery, Advanced Maintenance Bay. I guess we'll grab the Advanced Maintenance Bay. Well, it looks like their fleet's no longer here. That's interesting. I don't know where they could have gone. Battle is joined. Unless they emergency jumped as soon as uh, they were engaged.
All right, Sixth Fleet is sitting idle. I'm not sure there's much else they can actually do. Minus 111. Yeah, we're going to have to get that war exhaustion up. That is not climbing very much. over 900 days oh, uh, where are we as far as 324 days on the crystal and megabore actually there's one other thing i need to double check the clemens station You can now be part of the the trade system, and I don't think there's any other stations. What is a mega shipyard building? A colony ship. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no other stations that need to be integrated into the trade network. All right, you guys, I want you to head there. Okay, so ground troops are in this system. Scientific breakthrough achieved. This planet only has four armies. Go ahead and land them. I think we're just going to continue to knock away on the cheap ones. Initiating ground assault.
scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, what do we got? Advanced maintenance bay. A talented naval officer has been uncovered. Uh, just keep her where she is. All right. Titan hull points. Planetary build speed plus 20%. Wow, that, like, will take not very long at all. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and knock that out. All right, now let's occupy the moon. Aiming incoming transmission from the Hydari Conserver. Stagnant ascendancy. Keepers of knowledge. Yes, yes, we've heard it all before. We are the Hydari Conservers, and you are the Unified Bulgar Empire. Greetings. Well met. Stay out of our space or face certain doom and so forth. Now, if you'll excuse us, we're quite busy. Okay. Respect our authority, or else we'll respond in kind. <laughs> very, very dismissive. Uh, Scientific breakthrough achieved. Fallen Empire. I'm not sure where they are. There they are. The Hydari Conservers. They're scientific... Technology level is overwhelming, but their fleet power is just equivalent. Alright, and while that's working, this fleet... Okay, well, they've had depleted minerals. This fleet can now move on to the next planet. All right, what do we got? Building cost minus 5%. Uh, let's see. Building cost minus 5%. Energy credits from jobs. We'll go, so we'll go with that. Last wall doctrine. Defense army. Um, this will grab the better flak. I'm not sure we actually are using the flak. The flak point defense. Oh, that's fine. Our warriors are victorious. Enemy planet conquered. Very good. The conquest of a new world has begun. All right, now this army can head over here and start landing troops. Cannot land on an uninhabitable planet. This is another one of these. Well, I've got something for the Overlord to do. A colonized uninhabitable planet. Makes little to no sense, but Scientific hey. Breakthrough achieved. Fine. Hopefully Clark, cracking a planet will give them a bunch of war exhaustion. We'll see.
This planet has a shield generator. Ooh, that's a lot of ground troops. So maybe just park yourselves here for the moment. All right, you are at the full strength now. I'd like you to head to this system. Can't land on that planet. Well, there's another planet we're going to blow up. Well, then head over here. There we go. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, you head there. Second fleet, continue your progress. And what's this? Black artillery. All right. Cruiser ally co cost down autonomous autonomous maintenance bay. Crystal Forge Plating 2. Grab the Autonomous Maintenance Bay. Huvudu Zan Shard. Pitiful creatures know that we roam the stars for eons before your hapless species mastered spaceflight. If any of your wretched little ships cross into our space, do not expect in the return. Okay. Another Fallen Empire. Interesting. I don't even know where they are. There's obviously something here. We lost a Corvette. Ah well, replace it. And continue on. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Alright, the fleet command limit is the cheapest one. We'll grab it. Alright, are you working on cracking yet? No, not yet. Still on the way. Mm 
Looks like one of their fleets showed up. Third fleet doesn't really have anything to do. Let's go ahead and order them to start cleaning some of this up. Crystal Megabore Gravo Generator complete. Alright, but I don't think that is the end of it. Because we actually have to put in the drill, I believe. Yes, the actual Megabore itself. 718 days. Yeah, plus eight rare crystals now. That's good. And wasn't there... Is there a... Well, let me just pause it here for a second. Isn't there a... Or is there a megastructure that will give us moats? Micro engineering testing, minor decompressor sites, mega art installation, mega shipyard, which we've already done. Neutronium Gigaforge. A big refinery capable of harvesting large amounts of neutronium from a neutron star, transforming it into alloys. Oh. We are definitely going to want to build one of those. Planetary Computer Complex. Science Nexus, Entry Ray, Star Lifter. Stellar Particle Accelerator. The Suck. That produces gas. Titanic Red World, Yggdrasil Orchid Complex Construction Site. Massive complex built near a gas giant to seed its atmosphere with special plant life. Um. Produces food, produces research. Eh, not, well, all of this would be nice to build. So it's just a matter of what the priorities are going to be. But uh, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. We're just. Just cue this in, and uh, we'll stop here. The Overlord is uh, charging its weapon, getting ready to destroy that goofy little moon. And yeah. Just keep on working on this, and also keep on working on the Empire in general. All right, but for now... Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.